Demo crews were making quick work of the wreckage at Shelter Enterprises on Saratoga Street in Cahoge this morning. The owner, Jeff Myers, knew before the fire was out he would rebuild, and the staff was right with him. The response is great by the employees. They're, they're here to help out. We're, we want to get back to work. But the dozens of workers were told to stop what they were doing when this Department of Labor representative arrived and slapped a few asbestos project suspended notices on the doors. I'm not looking to hold it up. I just need to make sure people who are trained for this type of thing. According to DOL, until shelter enterprises can prove there's no asbestos among the debris, they can't even touch it. Well, I had engineers scheduled to come in Monday and start drawing the new building. So we're, we're at a setback now. Myers says he still plans to keep as many workers on the payroll as possible, but early this morning, more than 30 of them attended a meeting at Cahoe City Hall with a rapid response team from Department of Labor on their options. Collect unemployment if, if there's not enough work down there. John Bowen, one of the workers, wondering what now. He wants to be a part of the crew getting shelter back up and running, but his top priority is making sure he's got a paycheck with his name on it. Pretty much everybody just wants to get down there and help out, get back to work as much as quick as possible. Nobody, nobody likes to go without money, you know. In the meantime, Jeff Myers is hard at work trying to clear this latest hurdle. At least it's keeping all that's happened from sinking in. It's hard to say at this point. I don't really think I've sat down long enough to, to think about it. You, know, you just you run on adrenaline. You go 24 hours a day till you, till you get to a point. You, you take a break and you sit back and you think. But when you have such strong support from all your employees that are here helping, you just keep moving forward. Jerry Gretzinger, CBS 6 News.